Hi, I'm Thomas from Pizzeria Buffalo, and I'm down at Food Truck Masters today to see my completed food truck. Hello mate, Hello. How are you? good to Welcome. see you. Wow. My god. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And he done a good job with the graphics. Just make it stand out a mile. That is unbelievable. Wow, I can't get over how nice that looks. Ah, that looks brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I got the seal of approval. Wow. Can we come? Ah, you got the fridge in as well. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. And can I get two in side by side? Brilliant. Brilliant. Welcome to my crib. We have got the most amazing setup in here. I don't even know where to start. This is the Valoriani oven, 75. Um, cost me an arm and a leg. I had to sell my car to afford this oven, not even joking. And the irony is, this oven, the gas burner actually costs more than the oven itself. Go figure that one out, because we've gone for an electronic gas burner, which basically, it's very clever, but it essentially means that you save a bit of space because you haven't got loads of wood in there. So you've, you've got extra cooking space, you can do more pizzas at one time. But also, rather than having a manual gas burner like you would have at home on your barbecue or whatever, um, we've got an electronic one, which means it'll automatically maintain a temperature and when it gets to a set temperature, it'll cut off or it'll, or it'll just keep on the pilot light. Um, so that's really, really efficient. It'll save you a lot of gas um, and also save you a lot of time. And then underneath, You've got a triple fridge, um, which I recommend to anyone to be honest in one of these trucks because it fits perfectly with where the, where the wheel arch is. So you can fit a nice triple fridge under there. I've then, um, I've got a special piece of equipment here. This is a warming cabinet, but it's a warming cabinet that is especially designed for Neapolitan pizza. So during uh, Covid and the lockdowns, a lot of the pizzerias in, in Naples um, started doing delivery and going on the Just Eats and this, that and the other. Um, and they'd never really experienced this before because people would come and typically get the pizzas from the pizzeria or whatever. Because of the Covid they were getting it delivered. And one thing that is quite common with Neapolitan pizza is it doesn't keep its heat very long and it gets cold quite quickly. So suddenly it became quite apparent that they were getting bashed on Just Eat and Uber Eats and all these places for having cold food. You know, the reviews were really dropping the business down. And so that had to be addressed. So many of the pizzerias in Naples now that do delivery, they've done two things which I've completely copied, which is to get a heated cabinet, which will keep your pizzas warm in the box. They're not going to be cold. They'll be just as hot out of there as they were when they first come out of the oven. Um, and it will maintain that quality. And the other thing we've done is aluminium lined boxes, which uh, are not cheap, but again, they'll ensure that the pizza is cold. There's holes for the steam to get out of the box, but it will keep that pizza really, really hot. Um, so that's quite important as well. We've, we've got the 1969, which is the year this beautiful van was originally registered, which makes it, what, 53 now, which is nearly as old as my dad. Um, what else have we got to show you? I've purposely not gone for any branding on the front, um, or graphics on the front, just because a lot of the work I'm going to be doing is weddings, and people obviously want to take nice photographs with the van and things, and I didn't feel like having all that branding in there was necessary, and I thought about my wedding and the pictures that we took and I think just having a nice classic van where you don't see that branding actually is, is, is the right thing to do. Um, the only little bit of branding I've, I've got on this side which is slightly different to the others is the name uh, which is Enzo. It was my mentor in Naples uh, Enzo Esposito that taught me everything I know really about Neapolitan pizza um, over at the AVPN so um, yeah it means a lot that and Enzo is an unbelievable uh, unbelievable pizzaola I think he's third generation 
his grandfather actually invented margarita pizza, uh, I think in 1889. I think um, he made pizza for, for Queen Margarita when she visited Naples. She enjoyed it and the rest is history really. And his dad was a very famous pizziolo as well. I think he did pizzas for like Maradona and the Pope and, and various other important people. And he's carrying on the tradition now. Um, and it was amazing to learn from him. It really was an amazing guy. And um, I don't know if you'll see this, but it's a bit of a homage to him, really. Um, I can't think of a better name for the van. So I think it was a back end of last year, I think November time, um, I saw a post on the Food Truck Masters Instagram that basically said something along the lines of, uh, we've got one production slot for, for next June left. And I thought, I'm having that. So I called him up pretty much the same day. I said, I see you've got a production slot left. Um, I want it. I come down in the week between Christmas and New Year. Um, put a deposit down there and then. Um, and then it was quiet for a few months. You know, as soon as you put the deposit down, you're just securing the production slot, essentially. So, you know, you know so you're not just, you don't just start the next day and start putting your van together. So, yeah, it was quiet for a few months. Um, but they, they found a vehicle, sourced a vehicle, I think over in France, brought it over, allocated that to me. Um, and then probably about three or four months ago, the, the hard work started with all the fabrication. We obviously raised the roof, made it longer. Um, so it's quite a long process and we're now in back, back end of July, so it's a solid seven months. And I think it's important if people are, um, are looking to, to do a project like this, you've, you've got to give that time. It will take, it will take you know, at least six months and um, you can't rush these jobs as we've said in previous videos. You know, it's, you need a lot of love, a lot of care and a lot of attention. So um, yeah, you need, I'd leave at least six months. This took seven, but that's probably because I stuck a few extras in and asked for things like tiles and this, that and the other. And, um, a couple of a few weeks ago, I had to come down. We changed the the, uh, the oven and the positioning and this that and the other. So it probably would have been a bit quicker if it wasn't for me. But um, yeah, I think you need at least at least six or seven months if anyone's considering a project like this. I think my only advice would be research, research, and do a little bit more research. Not just into what you want in terms of the size of the van, the height of the roof, the length, etc. But really think about what you're going to put inside it. What's going to be practical. And then also, how long it's going to take to source all this stuff. I was quite lucky with my oven. Um, the, the, luckily, the, the UK supplier or distributor had already got one in stock, and it was his last one. Um, and it was going to take about three or four months to get another one in. So I was really lucky with, with sourcing that oven um, and the cabinet, which is also Italian made. But I've, I've heard stories from other people that you know their, their equipment and their pizza ovens have taken three, four months, sometimes longer. So um, really research that and make sure it's what you want. Uh, and if you're going to get something like a pizza oven, I would go and use one, practice, you know, even if you just pop in a pizza here and say, can I have a look at your oven or whatever it might be, or go over to Naples if you're lucky enough to, to go and try some of the ovens over there. Um, th there's a lot of ovens, in fact I've seen in some other pizza vans here, that I feel are a little bit inferior to this one in the, in the case that they are so big. They've probably got a similar oven space to mine, but they're so big because of the size of the oven walls and whatnot that they, you just lose loads of space. And I'm quite lucky, I've got a fairly big chunk of space in that corner there because of how I've positioned my oven. Um, so I would, I would strongly encourage people to research the hell out of what they want in their van, what's going to be practical, what they're going to need, and also how long it's going to take to source all this stuff. Because if you're putting your deposit down now, you know, you probably want to start looking at your, ordering your appliances at the same time. Um, to, to prevent any further delays. I honestly can't thank these guys enough. I've brought a fair few cakes of beer with me today um, to say thank you. I'm hoping I could have made, maybe made some pizzas, but obviously I've got to cure the oven and whatnot. Um, that takes about a week to cure. But uh, no, just a huge, huge thank you. Thanks for entertaining all my visits. I think I've been four or five times now over the last six or seven months. Um, thank you for uh, accommodating all my additional requests. I know it's not been easy, um, but you've done a phenomenal job, phenomenal job, and uh, I, I would not go anywhere else.